everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. Nice to meet you. Subscribe down below. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday and usually more than that because I'm insane. <laughs> So today I'm sitting down to do my January favorites. I love talking about my favorite products. It's just a great pastime of mine, not really, but um, I've been coming up with a list over the last month. I know it's kind of, we're like five days into February. Actually, by the time I post this, we're, we're pretty into February by now, but um, I just really can't not talk about the products that I loved in January, and I'm gonna have a whole new list in February, so yeah. I will have all the products I talk about linked down below. I've got food, shoes, I really have random stuff and then like skincare body stuff. I really don't, it's just random and some music stuff at the end. So without further ado, let's get started with my January favorites. Also, do we like this vibe? Do we like this setup? Because I kind of really, really like this setup. Um, I just love that. That sign's really cute. If you guys are gonna ask, that sign is from Urban Outfitters. It's awesome. If I can find it, I'll have it linked down below. All right, so I'm going to get started. The first item I want to talk about is the Jergens Instant Sun Flawless Natural Looking Color Instantly Sunless Tanning Mousse. I did not all have to say all of that. It, basically, the Jergens Sunless Tanning Mousse. I'm obsessed with it. I know everyone really likes Loving Tan. I have Loving Tan. I am just terrified when I put it on my skin. It is so dark and I freak out and. For me, even to self-tan is a big deal because usually I get like to get spray tans because I just feel like I'm gonna mess it up and I, I still do mess it up sometimes. But this is the Jergens Instant Sun. I love it, it's mousse, so you just shake it up and I use a mint and I just put it on and I put it on all over my body. I do two coats, so like basically after the shower, I'll like exfoliate and stuff and I'll do like one arm, leg, other arm, other leg, chest, stomach, yeah, like my back, and then I'll do that whole thing again. Um, and I make sure to like blend it up to the neck so I can like wear darker foundation and stuff. I'm not amazing at it, I'm still learning how to do it, but I really do like being tan. And I actually, I was kind of nervous to do this, but it really doesn't sweat off super bad like when I work out, because I work out three to four times a week, and I, that was my only concern. It was just gonna like make my self tan really bad. But I'm just a lot more confident and I feel better in different outfits and stuff when I'm tan. So I love this and it's drugstore, you know, love that. I've actually done brand deals with them in the past and I seriously still use it. So I st I'm going to go repurchase more soon. On the realm of body stuff, this is the Glossier Body Hero Daily Oil Wash. I used this for the first time when I was at Morgan's house in LA. I was using her shower and I was just trying out all of her products in her shower. Hope that's okay, Morgan. And I tried this and it's Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It comes off in your hand just like oil, and then as you rub it on your body, it kind of lathers up into more of a soapy consistency. And honestly, one, it makes your skin really soft, and when you get out of the shower, it kind of lingers, and it makes your skin so soft and smell really good, which I just think is always a plus, so it's great, I love it. Next up, I have the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. I've had this since the summer and I used it a lot and then I kind of like forgot about it as people do. And then I was like, wait, I forgot I have this. So basically it's just got a dropper and you put it in your hand. I only use it, well, actually that's a lie. I'll use this either once at night or once in the morning. I don't do a ton because it is a very heavy facial oil. I love it. Usually I prefer it at night because I'll like take a shower or whatever do my whole face wash, toner routine, and then I'll put this on and like you put on your skin, you look kind of like really greasy, so I prefer to do it at night. Um, and I just smother my face in it and I just, it, your skin just looks so good in the morning when you wake up or sometimes in the morning, if I know I'm not putting makeup on until like a couple hours later, I'll put on this luxury facial oil and it's just such an amazing serum. Drunk Elephant in general, I love their nighttime glycolic serum and their like day serum, um, but I've talked about this before. So this is amazing. I'll like jade roll with it. Love it. And um, my skin's been like kind of dry lately because it's been cold, but this week it's feeling like spring weather. So I'm really excited about it. And the groundhog didn't see its shadow. So I think that means the spring is sooner. Yes. Yes, Callie's confirming that. So that's all the body skincare stuff. There's really not a lot. Next up, I'm gonna talk about two different pairs of shoes. First pair are these Hoka sneakers. Um, I got them for Christmas, I love them. If you guys listen to the podcast, especially if you don't listen to my podcast with my co-host Brooke Michio, Gals on the Go, it's amazing. We post every Wednesday. We talk about lifestyle, school, fashion, everything, but we talk about Orange Theory a lot because we both love Orange Theory. 
If you guys listen to the podcast, you know when I first started Orange Theory, I only wanted to do the bike, which is really supposed to be for people who are injured or like can't run. <laughs> but I just love to spin, so I would like, I still do it sometimes, don't get me wrong. I, it like makes it your own spin class, so it's like really, really fun. And it's like a good way to do cardio, but the class is like built for you to run or at least power walk. Um, so I just needed a good pair of sneakers that were good for running and I've heard amazing things about Hoka sneakers I just got these plain black ones, but like there are so many really like pretty ones and cool colors I just like black sneakers because they just go with everything and of course I'm worried about what I'm wearing when I'm working out I hate myself, but um, these are so comfortable and as you can see they kind of like rock back and forth Which is good for running so I hear I really don't know but I've just been able to run lately so in the in the last like three weeks I'd say or even just going to Orange Theory since I've been back um I've been doing the treadmill some days I just power walk at a really high incline but apparently that's like what a lot of models do to just tone up their legs so I'm like yeah I'm Romy Stride like whatever but then a lot of times lately I'm like okay I'm gonna power walk and then I end up running and doing all outs and it's really really fun and it's all thanks to those sneakers because some of my sneakers I just I can't so yeah that was kind of my little spiel but it's really important to get good running shoes I told Brooke or I was talking to Brooke about it and she went and got her like shoes she got like a cool pair of running shoes and it's just like important like running if you're gonna run get running shoes okay anyways on the other side of the spectrum these are not running sneakers these are Windsor Smith um, I don't know the name of them but I'll have them linked down below these are my new favorite sneakers these are the ultimate Fila sneakers if you will I had a pair of Fila sneakers, I liked them a lot, but then when I discovered these, I like how they look on my feet better. They're really obnoxious, I'm aware, like, I mean, they're bigger than my head. But um, they give you like a good inch and a half of height, which I really, really like because they're so comfortable. I got them off of Princess Polly, and I don't, they might have their own website, I don't really know, but these look so cute and they make your legs look so tiny because you have these on that are huge, and they instantly elevate any outfit. I like only wore these shoes when Brooke and I went to LA. Um, I'll probably wear these if I go to Coachella, which I think I am. I just found out this morning, so I'm really excited, but I'm not really sure. So, yeah, fashion staple. Next up is the Hydro Flask. I just upgraded to this one. I initially had the white 37 ounce one, and I still use that. Um, but this one's so happy. It's in the flamingo pink color. I got it off of Amazon. It, this one just holds a little bit more water. I love these. In specific, the ones with the straw lid. I know I've talked about it before, but seriously, still a favorite of mine. Brooke really got me on this. They're amazing. The only thing is they don't fit in the Orange Theory like cup holders. So I was just like, I mean, that's such a, it's not even a problem. Okay, Danielle. But this makes me drink so much, so much water. And especially during the winter time, I like to stay hydrated because it's just more cold and it's dry. And I don't really know. I feel better when I'm hydrated. I know my skin likes it better when I'm hydrated. Just the world likes it when you're hydrated. So the straw lid really helps with that. And it's so cute and it fits in my backpack cup holder. Love it, can't say enough good things about it. For food, I have two things I wanna talk about. The first being the complete cookie. Um, this is really random to talk about, but I've been getting these for the last two years. Um, they sell them like on campus, but I just got on Amazon this pack of 12. They're amazing, seriously. Like I'll put them in my backpack and like in the middle of classes, if I'm feeling hungry, but like I'm not ready for lunch or I just, I simply don't have time. These fill you up. They have 16 grams of protein, 10 grams of fiber. I'm really trying to increase the fiber in my diet because fiber is so good for you. Zero grams of trans fat, non-GMO, no soy, no, no soy, no soy, no dairy, no egg, vegan, kosher, fresh baked, no high fructose corn syrup, no cholesterol. No, I mean, the, the list goes on. Big fan of these, except someone DM'd me recently and said they're um, not carrying them anymore, at least at Trader Joe's. So I'm freaking out, but I just feel like I love them so much and they shouldn't so but anyways I got scared and bought a ton on Amazon but maybe just Trader Joe's isn't carrying them anymore anyways they're amazing my other food item I want to talk about are chia seeds um I got these at Trader Joe's as you can see I only have this much left I'm a big oatmeal gal in the morning I'm always looking for something that's really fast but it'll fill me up that's the key I need things that are gonna fill me up and I'm really trying to figure out new ways to eat that's gonna fill me up that's not super unhealthy and like full of carbs it's just gonna like make me full and like not feel well so i've been adding like a decent amount of chia seeds into my oatmeal with a little soy milk and brown sugar and it keeps me filled up for a couple hours these have a lot of fiber in them which are great for you and the biggest part is you can't really taste them or you really can't it just gives your oatmeal a little bit more texture if anything and fills you up more so i love that because if i only have oatmeal in the morning i'll need like a snack after like two hours so 
Love chia seeds, got these at Trader Joe's. You can find them at your local grocery store. Love them. And lastly, I just have two playlists on Spotify I wanted to highlight lately. Definitely um, of my own, you should definitely check out my New Year playlist on Spotify. Um, I'm probably gonna make like a February one, but I've still just been on this playlist grind. I really wanna do a drive with me. I just like haven't had the chance and my car was kind of, Kelly's like, yep. <laughs> I haven't, my car was like kinda not doing well for a second, but we got it taken care of. So, yeah, because I want to dance to my favorite music. It's really fun to do in the car. But anyways, my New Year playlist has like 45 songs or something. I'm really into like hip-hop, rap, R&B right now. So that's kind of what's on that playlist if you want to check it out. Um, but two playlists that I love to play um, for two different things. The first one being the Acoustic Covers playlist on Spotify. I'll have these linked down below, by the way, so you can check them out. But you can just search them. Acoustic Covers on Spotify is so nice because I'll like wake up and I'll say, Alexa, I don't want to trigger any of your own echoes. But um, I'll say, yo. Echo, um, play acoustic covers on Spotify. And it's so nice because then I start my morning with songs that I really like, but an acoustic version. So like I can sing along, but they're not like really like annoying in the morning. It's very calm, it's with guitar. I, I don't know, it puts me in a really good mood. Like I don't even know, man. And then on the other side of the spectrum, for studying, um, I loved the Jazz Vibes playlist, but I've listened to it so much that I literally know all the Jazz Vibes songs. <laughs> Kelly's making fun of me. I like to listen to instrumental music. Okay, okay. Recently, I've been listening to the Low Fee Beats on Spotify, or Chill Low Fee Beats. Let me just look this up really quick so I don't mess it up, everybody. It's called Lofi Beats. Um, it's amazing. It's kind of similar to the Jazz Vibes one, but it's a little bit more beat-y rather than like jazzy. So yeah, I've been really liking to do that. It gets me in a really productive mood and it's great for studying. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn. I'm always posting about other favorites I like on my Instagram story. I'm always posting outfit of the days, fitness inspiration, whatever it may be, whatever I'm doing that day. It's probably on my Instagram story, at Danielle Carolyn. And then make sure to subscribe here. That is everything I wanted to talk about. Again, I will have everything linked down below. I love you guys so much. I love filming. It always puts me in a really good mood. So yeah, I think that's all I had to say. Thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you guys very soon for my next video. Bye-bye.